the governor and the delegation all united has come to Congress and asked for $2.8 billion. The president has kind of parlayed that into a $2.6 billion ask, which is okay, we'll take it. We will vote hopefully this week on a CR that will come from the Senate. We're not gonna get all the 2.6 billion on this ask, but we will certainly get something. Come December, when the omnibus has to be passed, that's when we should get the rest of it. My concern is that agriculture and the CR money does come up short, and you know that's not acceptable. We need to continue to push because we all know how important agriculture is, not only in the 5th District, but in the entire state of Louisiana. If you look now, if you go to Baton Rouge, for instance, there's still mattresses and drywall and carpet piled on the side of the roads that serve as a constant reminder to the residential people that got hit by the flooding, how horrific this flood was. But agriculture has a different optic. People see the green fields, they see the combines and the cotton pickers in the field and they assume that everything is just fine. Well, it's not. And this is the message that we as a delegation, certainly myself, will continue to relay that message that this is not over, damage is still being assessed, and until the first of the year, we're not gonna really know how much agriculture has been affected. We understand everybody has needs, and we understand that nobody can control the disaster that hits their particular region or their particular state. And we have the greatest empathy for their residents too. But again, these floods in Louisiana, the March and the August floods, these are yesterday events. These are, these are very recent. And these people that are trying to recover from these flooding events are still living in homes that possibly are growing mold. They're still having businesses that they can't go to because they're unusable. We need the money now because if we don't, Bankruptcies will occur in businesses and in private homes. People will leave Louisiana because they have no job to go to and they unfortunately they won't come back. This is what this money can do right now. It can save hopefully most if not all those events from taking place.